First of all, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Devil honors to the apostles, the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the brothers on the highways and the byways, preaching and teaching the truth and sincerity. Safety and peace and blessings to the elect across the four corners of the earth. Are we down here in Miami, GMS Miami, and we are here to prophesy the downfall of Babylon, aka America, and to wake up the elect across the four corners of the earth of Israel. So yeah, man, like the Ox said, man, we out here every weekend to prophesy the downfall of America to preach uh, the gospel unto the elect of the nation of Israel, man, okay? America is Babylon, the great important to the scriptures, and you Edomites, okay, because I'm not going to call you white, I'm not going to call you red, okay, I'm not going to give you a color, I'm going to call you by your nationality, you are going into slavery according to the Bible, man, right. along mm -hmm. with the rest of you evil. So, uh, bring out the first, bring out the first, uh, first, uh, second, all right, this is 2 Timothy 4 and 1, mm -hmm. I charge thee therefore before the Most High right, and man. the Lord. Now, go ahead. Yahweh shall my shaft, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Right, man. So we, we were charged before the Most High and before Yahweh Shai, okay? We were, we were given a commandment to do, okay? And that commandment is to come out here and preach the word, man, okay? Because Yahweh Shai is the son of the Heavenly Father who sits on the right hand of the, of the, of the Father, man, okay? And he, and he commanded his apostles and his disciples and his followers to go out and preach the kingdom of heaven, man. Preaching the kingdom of heaven is at hand, so that so that the elect can repent and and uh, be partakers of that kingdom, man. Go ahead. Second Timothy four and two, mm -hmm. preach the word. Be in instant in season, mm -hmm. out of season. Right, man. Preach the word, man. So we're not coming out here to preach our own words. We coming out here to preach the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. We coming out of the prophets. We coming out of the Psalms. We coming out of the Gospels. We coming out of uh, the epistles of Paul. Okay, we coming out the Come, we coming out of the Apocrypha, we coming out of the Proverbs to preach the word of the Heavenly Father, man, whether they hear or whether they forbear. Why? Because they are a most rebellious house, man. Great. Go ahead. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Right, man. Be instant in season and out of season, whether it's raining or whether it's hot, whether it's windy, whether it's cold. It doesn't matter, man. We coming out here to preach the word regardless, man. Okay, because that's what we're commanded to do. Okay? To reprove, to exhort, to rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine, man. Okay, be patient with it. Okay, because this is a patient, this is a work of patience and a work of love, man. Okay, because we come out here every week and we repeat the same things, and guess what? We love doing it. Okay? We love repeating that America is going to be destroyed by the thermonuclear fire, man. We love repeating that martial law is coming to America. We love repeating that the only the elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved and that salvation is only for the nation of Israel. We love telling these people that the Gentiles in the New Testament are Israelites, man, and that Cornelius is an Israelite, okay? We love telling these people that Yahweh Shai is the son of the Heavenly Father who sits at the right hand of the majesty on high, man, okay? We love telling these people that the chariot is going to come and that they're going to, that they're going to blast these people to smithereens, man, okay? Why? Because it's the word of the Heavenly Father, man. This is the word of the Most High God who created everything, man. The word! Okay, who created your own soul, man. Who created your spirit, man. All right? So fuck, fuck what we got to say. We coming out We coming out the Bible, man. You got some right? Book of Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 1, mm -hmm. says, And he said unto me, Son of man, mm -hmm. stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit unto me, when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Right, man. Son of man, we were, we were sent to the children of Israel, man. Okay? So, yeah, we prophesy against all you other nations, man. But really, we prophesy for the sake of, of, uh, of Israel, man. Because at the end of the day, we don't know who's part of the elect or not. So we got to preach the word regardless so that through the terror of the Lord, we may persuade men, man. Okay? I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. Right, to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me, man. Why did the Most High have to do that, man? Because the Most High knew that according to His word and according to His to, uh, to, uh, His promise. 
that if the nation of Israel rebelled against him and they started worshiping idols and they didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, that the Most High was going to have to fuck them up, man. That's right. Okay? And that's what the Most High has done throughout history. That's what he's doing now. And that's what he's getting ready to do even more, man, in these last days, man. That's right. Okay? A lot of our people are going to die, man. That's right. right. And we want that to happen, man. And we're not saying that out of, out just to be mal malicious. No, we're not saying that to be malicious, man. We, we letting you know that because it's the truth, man. Right. Because we're supposed to warn you people, man. If the, if the sword and the battle is coming, we're supposed to warn you, man. And guess what sword is coming? Not only is martial law coming, not only is race riots co coming, but the sword that is bathed in heaven is coming, man. The ICBM nuclear missiles are coming to America, man. That's right. That's right. says, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day. Verse 4, but they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord uh, Most High. Right, man, we coming out here and say, letting you know what the Lord said, man. Thus saith the Lord, man. That's why we always say this is this is not this is not of us, man. This is of the Most High, man, and of His Son, man. Right. We're not letting you know. We're not letting you know what's going on in our hearts. No, we breaking it. We we coming out the scriptures and we breaking it down for you, man. The word that we received from the Most High through our apostles, man. The only apostles and elders on the planet Earth, man. The elders of Great Millstone, man. That's right. right. And, and this will make it sad, man, because like the brother, you know, opened up. You know, we come out here to uh, tell these other nations they're going down, but you, you simple ass, wicked ass niggas, you don't want to hear that, man. Just validating the scripture that you impudent and, and stiff neck, man. We here to tell y'all that so called white man kingdom is going down, and this kingdom is going to be set up on high. Right, man. And we got we to gotta let y'all know that the heathen's going down, man. Even though that we, we are sent to the house of Israel, we still got to prophesy against these other nations, not only because they, they're proud. Okay, and that they and they've afflicted the Lord's people more than what they deserve, man. They gave enough, given unto us double, and they forwarded the affliction. But also because the nation of Israel is scattered amongst all the nations, man. Shalom, shalom, man. So, so if if we know that the nation of Israel is scattered amongst all the nations, man, then we gotta let you know that the nations that you inhabit, man, the nations that you were scattered into, man, and the nations that you trust and love so much are going to go the fuck down too, man. That's right. To save your soul, man, so that you can put your trust in your Halabashim Yahushai, stop calling yourself a Puerto Rican, okay? Stop calling yourself a Haitian, a Negro, a Brazilian, start calling yourself an Israelite, man, right. okay? And if the Spirit of the Most High is on you and you believe on the name of the Father, which is Yahweh, okay, which means He exists, and Yahweh Shai, which means He is the Deliverer, okay? And you believe the doctrine of Yahabashim Yahushai delivered from the elders, then you are an Israelite according to the Spirit, man, right. okay? But no matter where you are in the world, man, and the adoption and the promises and the glory and the covenants are for you, man. That's right. This is Proverbs 8 and 1. Mm -hmm. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? Right, man. Does not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her, her voice? Is that not happening? You don't see a woman out here called wisdom. Okay, crying out and putting forth her voice. No, that's a, that's a, that's the spirit of the Most High that's blessing men with the wisdom to preach the word unto you, man. Wisdom cries was out, man. We putting our putting forth our voice in the streets so that you can hear and so that you can hearken and inquire, man. So that you can inquire for salvation, man. So that you can understand the doctrine, man. To the saving of your souls, man. Because guess what, man? The Most High is going to send His Son back with the angels, and they're going to bring fire upon the planet Earth, man. Destroy. Okay? And America, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed, man. Right. Thus with violence shall great Babylon the Great be thrown down, man. That's right. right. Verse 2. She's standing in the top high places. New York right. City. New York City, the daughter of Babylon. Read that again, I Verse 2, she's standing in the top of high places. Right, she's standing in the top of high places, man. We come out here to the, to the chief places of the city, man. 
the, the quarters, man. That those are the top places, man. And we and we're on the internet. Okay, we we put the videos out on YouTube. You got brothers on social media pushing the word, man. Go ahead. By the way, in the places of the past. By the way, in the places of the past, man. The sidewalks, the streets, man, where everybody can see us, man. It's to the point where brothers go out so much and they preach the word so much that we become a landmark, man. During the, during the weekends, man, the, the spot where brothers preach at don't look the same when we're not there, man. Yeah, that's true, because me and my girl, we come out here frequently, go to Bayside and shit, and we'll walk by our, you know, the, the other campsite, and I look at that shit, it don't look the same, man. Right. It just look like a, a piece of shit that's uh, destined to be destroyed. Right, man, because the Spirit of the Lord is not not there, man. Right. The Lord uh -huh. said, the Lord said, uh, where two or, two or more are gathered in my name, I am in the midst of them, man. That's why the Spirit out here is totally different amongst brothers when we're out here together preaching the word, man. Okay, but once camp is over, man, and the spirit leaves, man, it shit is dead, man. We're the lively stones, man. The spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We not we didn't wake up and decide to say that ourselves, man. No, that's in the scriptures, man. Go ahead. Verse three. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city. Right, at the gates, at the entry of the city, man. Whether whether it be uh, your Washington Avenue. Whether it be your Biscayne Boulevard, your first street, your first avenue, man. Those are the gates of the city, man. Downtown, where, where everybody enters in, where there's a multitude, of, a mingling of people, man. That's what the Lord set us up. Why, why did the Lord do that, man? Why did the Lord put us in the midst of all these people, man? Because the Lord got a word and a prophecy for everybody out there, man. Right. For every nation, man. For every walk of life. The Lord got, a, got, got something to say to you, man. Right. Okay? Whether you be unjust, well, then let you be unjust still in the most high. Destroy your ass, man. That's right. Okay, or whether you be just and you want to repent, well, then repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. You an Israelite? Okay, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, from the tribe of Benjamin, from the tribe of Levi, man. Salvation is for the nation of Israel, man. Or whether you be a heathen, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, man. That's right. right. Go ahead. At the coming and at the door, mm -hmm. verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. Right, unto you, O men, I call, man, because this is really for the for the men of the nation of Israel, man. It's really for the sons of men, man, because y'all got to get right, because y'all the heads of the nation, man. Y'all the heads of the nation, so you got to get this wisdom so y'all can, so can know how to live by the wisdom and so that the Most High can deal with you, man. Okay, and so that so that the Most High can turn his wrath away from you, man, because the, because the Most High is extremely angry with the house of Israel, man. Extremely angry and... and you people, y'all see what goes on in the news every day. Y'all see the struggles of our people. Okay, y'all read the scriptures. Y'all claim to believe in the Bible. But y'all can't seem to put two and two together, man. Or y'all don't care, man. And because y'all don't care, the most is going to reject you. Go ahead. And my voice is to the sons of man. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. Oh, ye simple, understand wisdom. Right, oh, ye simple, understand wisdom, man. Who's the simple, man? The simple of our, is, are the children of Israel, man, the sons of Israel. Y'all the simple, man, okay? Because y'all believe in all these bugged out doctors, man, okay? And, and y'all worship idols, man. You guys think that America's gonna live on forever? You think you're an African-American? You think that you're a, you're, a, you're a Bahamian or a West Indian? You think that you're, you're a Brazilian and shit or, or a Puerto Rican? No, man, that's not the truth. The truth is that you're an Israelite, man. Okay. The truth is that you guys are the sons of God, man. Yashua Allah, the prince, he is a prince of power, man. God. And ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Right, man. Ye fools, be ye of an understanding heart, man. See, and then that's and then that's another reason why when you motherfuckers come up and y'all start uh, talking all that bullshit, why brothers get on y'all so hard, man? <laughs> Because, you, because the scriptures command you to receive the, the, the word in meekness, man. And to be in a, of an understanding heart. But you guys would rather be hard-hearted and stiff-necked according to the words of the prophets, man. They have eyes, but they see not. They have ears, but they hear not. They have a heart, but they understand not, man. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 6. Here. For I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Right, man. 
I, we should we shall speak of excellent things, man. Letting you know that that America is gonna be destroyed. That's righteous judgment, man. That's right. Okay, for for all the blood that's been shed here, man. For all the wickedness that's been per, uh, that's been pushed because of America, man. Throughout the whole planet Earth, man. Letting you know that you need to repent. Okay, and pray to the Lord that you may be part of the elect. Believe on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, so you can receive an everlasting kingdom. That is an excellent thing, man. These heathens being your slaves and your servants forever. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess it forever and ever and ever. That's an excellent thing, man. Our people will never be ashamed, will never go off again. Follow the Lord, believe in the law, statutes, and commandments. That's, those are excellent things that we preach unto you, man. Those are right things that we preach unto you, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is, a, is an abomination to my lips. Verse 8. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, and there is nothing forward or perverse in them. Plain, man. Plain. Man, don't even need to break that down, man come out here and we preach the word, man. We preach the words of the Most High and His Son. Verse, verse 9. They are all plain to him that have under, to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge. Right, man. They are all plain to him that hath understanding, and right to them that find knowledge, man. So it's, it's simple to us, man, but to the, to the majority of these people out here, that walk around, they can't get it, man. They're they get they're blind, man. The veil is over their eyes. Uh, verse ten. Receive my instruction and not silver. Right. Receive not instruction and not silver, man. Because a lot of people they receive my instruction. Right. Receive my instruction and not silver. Fine, man. So receive this, the instruction of the scriptures, man. Receive the instruction of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and his apostles, man, his holy prophets and his men, okay, and not silver, man. Forget about the love of money, man. Forget about mammon because a man cannot serve the Most High and mammon. You either love one or you're going to hate the other, man, okay? So when you come, when, when, when you come across the apostles on YouTube or you come across the brothers on the street or whatever have you, man, you can't you can't be focused on man. I gotta I gotta go get more money, man. I gotta go uh, go go to college and shit, man. Okay, when when you when you uh when you stumble upon the word, man, you're supposed to take heed, man. And the reason why is simple. You don't gotta read the Bible to understand that the dollar bill is going to collapse. So why the fuck are you focused on graduating college or getting money, man? It's gonna collapse. Right. If you don't have the knowledge and understanding of it is, you don't exist, man. Plain and simple. Kind, man. And, and, and silver and gold and money is not going to deliver you in those days, man. That's not going to deliver you from the day of the Lord's wrath. Right. right. And knowledge rather than choice goes. Verse 11. For wisdom is better than rule. Right. For wisdom is better than...